Greetings. I just realized that I haven't reset uh, webcam delays, so let me just get them fixed up first. Okay, I should all be voice and camera in sync again. Hello! How are we all doing, my ever-diminishing stream audience? How are we? <laughs> now, why the fuck? Well, we're going to have to crash game. Thanks. For some reason, uh, will, Windows will not let me adjust my volume once I'm in Oblivion. I don't know why that is. I also don't know why the fuck I can't find my notepad. My notepad with all my soundboard information on it. Fucking vanished. It always sits on my desk and now it don't. I blame the cat. Somehow. <laughs> cat is back there somewhere. How are we doing? Um, so I was doing a little bit of off um, off stream play, nothing major, just power leveling, um, running around, <laughs> spotting skeleton after skeleton, um, shooting generic enemies to get my marksman skill up, things like that, jumping everywhere. I uh, gained a couple levels, so we are now da -da 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 -da, a level seventeen cunt. Uh, <laughs> And we're doing pretty good with some of these stats. Uh, and while I was wandering around, I went and found the Nocturnal Shrine. Which is where we are just now. Uh, and it was... Because like, we went, like, around here, and I was going up the, the, the forest this way. I obviously just missed it, because it was closer to the road. But I knew it was around here somewhere. Hey Steven, I'm multitasking at the moment. Wanna enjoy the stream and watch Fallout? Ah, okay. Well, which are you doing? Which are you doing, motherfucker? You must choose. Ah, uh, so yeah, here we are at the Shrine of Nocturnal. Have I spoken to this person yet? What is your business in this place? That's uh, a woman. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you caught me off guard. You should not be in this place. What is your business here? Do you believe yourself worthy to speak to Nocturnal? Do you believe yourself worthy to speak... To speak faster, woman. Um, I wish to approach the shrine. Perhaps you have been summoned. Perhaps Nocturnal desires your service and has guided you here. Approach. Okay. I'm sure she guided me Don't here, carefully. and not me remembering from an old playthrough ten years ago, roughly where the shrine was. Feet. Night among the strangers. Secrets in the dark. Nocturnal is here. Hello. But my eye is blind and proud. Stolen from its shrine and hid in dark. A new hand touches the beacon. I love that. Daedra are the one character you can't skip dialogue for. They all talk so damn slow. Okay. Anyway, we're here for a reason. We're very much here for a reason, because, as you know, I hate lockpicking. Um, <laughs> and we're trying to resolve this. Find a solution for this problem. So, in Leowin, two Argonian thieves have stolen something. Righty ho. Anything else new to report? I don't think so. I've not got any new gear or anything.
Uh, I do have a plan, though. But it's, we're going to have to get uh, two more level ups before I can act on it. We need to be level 19. Am I about to crash? Oh my fucking god. Alright, back in game. You should have gone spelunking after New Gear. Uh, as I was saying, I have New Gear sighted. I need to be level 19. I'm going for a specific item. But I want the best version of that item. which I It's, it's a leveled item. If, if you go for it too early, you get a shittier version of it. So you want the better one. Feet. Night among the strangers. So once again, we have to listen to this. Secrets in the dark. Nocturnal is here. Hi, Lily. Of all the goddamn times to crash a game, ask me after the unskippable 12 minutes of dialogue. Stolen from its shrine. Monologue, rather. Dark waters. To steal from a god is most unwise. In Leowen, two Argonians think themselves. The eye has me, 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 me. Find these thieves in the city that spans the waters. Learn where they hide, my eye. Retrieve the eye of nocturnal water and return it to me, and I shall look favorably upon you. So which Daedric Lord would you bang? Okay, uh, <laughs> we're gonna save this time. Fucking hell. Speaking of games crashing all the time, uh, I started a new playthrough of Fallout New Vegas last night after stream. Um, it's already starting to stutter every now and again, but hey ho. Um, I immediately went straight north from Good Springs and I've joined the, uh, the Great Cans. <laughs> I've decided to become a drug runner. I'm having fun. Also, you'll notice I'm running a lot faster than I What's used to. What's going on with you? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods. What's this town? What can I do for you? You have a tiny face! Look at this guy's face! Seems All right. A much more dangerous place. What can I do for you? Uh, what's going on? Also, that is a hell of a weapon. Where to buy weapons? Where to buy anything if you can afford to travel? Is the market district in the Imperial City? Charlie Kirk, Mark. <laughs> Take care. Hi. What is, what is with all the? Oh Jesus, fucking! We can get away with murder. Yes. Yes, he agrees. Take care. Well. What were you saying about delving for new gear, Oda? <laughs> what? What's going on with you? Hmm. I understand Daedra worship. Philip Frank. Floyd Nathans. The Ultimer we're, go we're gonna kill this guy to take his bow, uh, and then we're gonna immediately find the same item on some bandit over the next hill. And I'll be like, well, we murdered for nothing. What is our best arrow? Elvin. Or glass. Yeah. As long as we can get one sneak attack hit on him. 7 a.m. This is all they do. This is all these vill villagers do all day. They stand around in a circle and they tell each other, the <laughs> what's, go what's going on with you? I've heard syndicates of wizards have led an expedition from the Somerset Isles. I've heard others say the same. Farewell! You fuckers. Do something with your life. Right. We can see if we might be able to just get away with cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. But it probably won't work. Shit, he survived! You survived. Where did he go? 
Then do your worst. Show me what you've got. Nah, you'll never take me. To You'll never take me down. Okay. Wasn't a crime. Holy shit. Wait, where's this guy? Where's his weapon? Where's his, where's his weapon? Oh, fuck me. Uh, oh, here we are. Ebony bow. Ebony bow! Look at it! Arrows of cold. Arrows of dispel. Arrows of frost. Arrows of dynamo! Arrows of withering. I wonder if I haven't been able to find any good bow weapons. This guy's been hoarding them all. Right, so, um... 9 damage versus 16 damage! Fucking finally! I've been playing this whole game on like half bloody speed. Shooting a wolf and it takes like 13 bloody arrows to kill them. This'll help. And then we need to get another um, enchantment on it, preferably. If we really want another enchantment, we could always go for a sigil stone, right? Nice. <sighs> Dead chat as usual, I see. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not going into an oblivion gate. We've got shit to do. I've got a few quests I want to get done tonight. Just hurry it along. Who was this? Can't remember getting an ebony bow. Did you... Did you miss what just happened? Two minutes ago? I just killed a guy. He had one. I don't know if he always has it, or if it's, uh, if it's uh, a skilled... A level scaling thing. Why do I bother streaming? Nobody pays attention anyway. I gotta start giving you guys fucking exams in between streams. Right. Looking. I am looking for an Argonian man. Uh, f what was he called? Some someone Frank. He was, just, he was just some guy. He was just some villager who, who had nothing to say. I do think it was just a level scaling thing. I'm sure if you go there at the start of the game, he'll just have, like, an iron bow. It's the same reason why, as you get levels, you find bandits running around in mithril gear with, you know, glass axes and stuff like this. Murder! I know, I know, it was murder, but... I'll give myself one. One free murder. Go to Leowin and find the thieves. Good We're not given any clues as to who they are, are we? Well, I guess we'll go to the the pub first. Lodge? Pub? Either way. Um What do you want? I I don't know. What, what is this name? <laughs> Witsuditsi. Huh. Witsuditsi? I offer the finest goods and... So much dirt and so little time. Pause. But a moment and you'll be drowned in the tide. Wonderful. We all love Count Marius and his father before him. And okay. now what his are you talking about? Wife, so beautiful. Just so fine. Yammering and on. Eyes. Oh, yes. And so oh, she... Oh, she's still going! ...how the county should be run. Lady Alicia tells Count Marius. But listen to me, cawing and chattering like an old fish crow. Hi, Sam. 
Have you heard any rumours specifically relating to any Argonians who have brought in any mysterious artefacts? Rodris has been teaching Fighters Guild members how to better use heavy armour. Odd for a Bosmer, <laughs> but he's a... Count Marius and his brother, Count Luigius. Goodbye. Yes, yes. Its scent is unfamiliar. Uh, Steven's stream right after a refreshing shower is good stuff. Jolly good. One can only hope. Um, you haven't missed much. I murdered a guy and found he had an ebony bow on him. So that's that's basically it. D the scallywag. I'm so hungry. Oh, poor baby. Have uh, have a coin. Thank you, kind lady. Uh, have you heard any rumors? I was walking past Rosentia Galenis's home the other day, and I heard these strange animal noises or something from inside. Very odd. Uh, it's probably not the quest I'm on, but I'll investigate more. Rosentia Galenis? Every time I pass by that woman's house, I hear odd animal noises and smell a foul odor. Whatever it is, she should clean up her act. It's surprising that a wealthy woman like that would let her property fall into such disarray. Okay. Blessings of a new. <sighs> I've already forgotten her bloody name. Uh, Gallius somethingus. Rosentia Gallius's house here in Leowin. We'll go over nosy. It's just like the the god of Looney Tunes or something. I'm gonna walk under that and an anvil's gonna land on our head. Three sisters in. I guess we'll try it. We're looking. We are looking for an Argonian. Or two. What? Well, you found the three sisters. Beds and food. I'm Shuravi, the sister that works and worries. Okay. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post, but she can cook. You talk really bad about your sisters. That's mean. Blackwood Company is putting the Fighters Guild to shame. Wonderful. Beast people and others sap. Wonderful. Bugak Robol. Nobody's gonna tell me shit, are they? Hi there. Now, did she say they were male or female? Argonians. I don't know if she did. Nocturnal spoke to me of the Eye of Nocturnal, which has been stolen. The Daedra believes the thieves to be in Leowin. I am to go there, find the thieves, and return. My name is Numin. Have you seen that no good rascal husband of mine, Mahai? God. Gods are my witness. I give that man. Rodris has been. Nothing, 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 nothing. Farewell. Okay. Back on this. Rosentia Gallinus House. Let's have a look. I'm low health, I just realised. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting to get into combat. Um... Fuck, do I have any better bloody healing spells? That'll do. Holy shit, we killed something in one hit. That never happens. Oh, hi. <laughs> These stupid scamps are driving me crazy. <laughs> just, eat, just sitting eating our Doritos. It's like, um... Can I, can, I, can I help you? Oh, thank you. I had a feeling buying that Daedric staff would be trouble. Now I'm paying for it with more than just some gold. A few weeks ago, a spell sword was passing through Leowin, 
and heard that I liked to buy curiosities. He wanted to sell the staff you see me carrying. I eagerly bought it, knowing the value of Daedric relics. In fact, I was a bit suspicious when he sold it so cheap. His loss, my gain, I figured. After examining it for a bit, I noticed a small word carved on it in runes. Using a book from my library, I translated it. The word was nonsense. However, when I spoke it and held the staff, four scamps suddenly I appeared. Don't suppose... I thought I was done for. Strangely, they all just... This is a Sheogorath staff, is it? It didn't take long before I realised they were following me. I couldn't be seen in town with scamps following, so I decided to discard the staff. I can't explain it, but somehow I can't compel myself to actually let it go. This staff is obviously cursed. Now I'm stuck with it. I need you to get over to the Mages Guild and talk to a good friend of mine. I was able to get a message to her earlier, but I've yet to get a reply. Okay. The beastly little creatures are nasty, smelly. I can't let people know I have scamps in here. She's got the scamps. Alves is a practiced researcher. Just She's sure weird. to have some. Oh yeah, ever scamps. These. Yep, there we go. They just respawn. They're harmless, but annoying. She's cursed. Right, so that's probably why I was able to kill them in one hit. <laughs> Never mind then. Right. I'm not currently wanted by the fuzz, am I? Can I help you? Good. Oh, do you know anything about a couple of Argonians with a Daedric artifact? Eye of Nocturnal? Doesn't sound familiar to me. Well, then you're useless. Farewell. Um, We're here to serve. Nothing about town? We Bumna and Bajin have been bragging about some big score they made recently. They claim it's a valuable jewel. We Bam and Niji Bajin. She wasn't a bad sort until she hooked up with that rascal We Bumna. That's where you're likely to find her at We Bumna's house. Okay. Goodbye. Finally, the first useful guard. Oh, we're being directed to the Mages Guild, okay. We're doing two different quests, completely parallel to each other. Alright, uh, you there. Poor Rosantia. She's been trapped in her house for days. How do you know? Frankly, the smell gave you away. You must have stepped in... Well, let's just say something that isn't pleasant. Shite. Just be sure and keep this quiet. If the other mages even knew that I was involved with Rosentia's new guests, I could get kicked out of the guild. Doing a bit of digging, I'm afraid Rosentia's been stuck with the staff of the Everscan. Nasty bit of fun by Shea Goroth, I'd say. Knew it. The only way she can be rid of it is if someone willingly accepts it. It can't be discarded in any <clears throat> other manner. No one would buy that thing once it's activated like it's been. The only chance is to return it to its original resting place, Dark Fathom Cave. Inside the cave, it's a there's female a Namekian. shrine to Shea Gorath. That's where the staff can finally be she dropped. She has hair. That's the not scamps hard. should remain behind. I also learned that the staff makes the owner move much oh slower than normal. I suppose it's another way the creator upped the annoyance factor. Please, bring Rosentia this information at once. Ah, <sighs> do we really want to do this? Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Officially here now. Okay, cool. Have you been, uh, listening at least? Or will I catch you up on what you've missed? Um, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Weebam Nas house as well. While we're here. Hey, you.
Greetings to you. Hello. I'm Bijin. I'm a hunter and Weebomna's partner. I hope he didn't bother you about the rat thing. He's gone totally rat cuckoo. I don't know anything about rats. Um, I was watching without sound. So, we're on two different quests at once. We've been sent by Nocturnal to find a couple of Argonians who stole her artifact, the, the Eye of Nocturnal. We found them. Uh, and also, we found out that there's some person in town who has a staff cursed with constantly respawning scamps. So we have to deal with the staff of the Ever Scamp. Why? Why would you ask? I've never heard of it. No idea what you're talking about. And Weebom Na doesn't know either. Eh. Goodbye. Hello there. Rats, hit them. Hit them, everyone. Okay, okay. Oh, did I say that out loud? Eye of Nocturnal. Where is it? Never heard of the thing. And neither has Bijin. You're lying. What do you want? I am Weebamna. Take care. Hmm. But what if the trolls eat it? Shh, there's someone here. Wait until they leave. Okay, I'll be off now. Do 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 do. Oh! Something that I did off stream. Um now, I, on stream I bought this, but I've been leveling my illusion skill just by constantly spawning a, a light, you know, starlight. Um, look what I can do when I have more... Uh, math. There we go. <laughs> Portable invisibility. Don't need to worry about potions anymore. He is going to talk. I'm trying to eavesdrop on them. Maybe I have to leave and reset the... Whoop, reset the room. Okay, I'll do that. They stopped to, uh, when they realized I was there. I must eavesdrop on them without being detected. I know. Kill them like the rest. Tidings. Here Did we go. Did you hear how no. upset oh, come on. is about all the dogs that Jabari has in his yard? Strava says the sound of Jabari's dogs drives her to distraction. Can't say I blame her. Take care. Man, you two suck. All right, reset. But what if the trolls eat ah, it? There we go. Trolls don't like water. Trolls don't swim. The eye is perfectly safe in Tidewater Cave. So relax. Easy peasy. Right, and let's go check in with a uh, scamp lady. These scamps are making my home smell like a barn. I was afraid you wouldn't come back. So I found a solution. Oh, please, I beg you. Take this staff to Dark Fathom Cave and get rid of it and the scamps forever. I can't fight, and who knows what's guarding the shrine? Plus, do you know how dirty caves are? It'll ruin anything I wear. Okay. Do this for me, and I'll reward you with another one of my curios I picked up a few years Ooh, ago. I like curios. A valuable ring. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's the staff. As soon as you leave, the scamps will thankfully follow. Do be careful. Dark Fathom Cave isn't that far from here, but the route may be treacherous. Uh, so apparently the staff reduces my speed as well. 
Not enough, though, because I'm already pretty speedy as a character. Thank God. Uh, hmm. You're not going to follow me? Hail. Not that I care. Okay. So we've got two different caves to go to. <laughs> Tidewater Cave and Dark Fathom Cave. <laughs> Just gives me the one ring. It's a curio I picked up. There you go. I remember actually... Oh, there they are. There's my, there's my, uh, my crew. <laughs> um... When I first got this game on PC, one of the very first things I did was install a, a Sauron armor mod, obviously. You never do that when you first get a game, especially one that you've played tons on PC. Same thing when I got like New Vegas and Fallout 3. You immediately just install stupid ass mods. I think that mod came with, like, a ring of power as well. Can't remember what it did, but it was probably overpowered. Hail the Scamp King. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone had a Sauron armor installed on one of their Elder Scrolls or, or another. It's a, it's a damn good armor set. I mean, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Love him. Spiky dude. Covered in cat hair because she keeps getting on that shelf. <laughs> um, I'm surprised how reserved I was with Skyrim. Only ever had two My Little Pony mods. Ugh. Yeah, this creepy fucking thing. Oh, so I was, um, I was. I got, sorry, I got distracted there. <laughs> I was playing New Vegas, like I said, last night. Uh, I was streaming it to Sam, and we were talking and talking and talking, and I remembered, like, hold on, didn't we make this, like, really stupidly elaborate Tycho companion mod? Um, <laughs> like, our version of Tycho from our Fallout series. So, of course, he's, he's an immortal bald ghoul man, voiced by Sam. I found it. Uh, it's still on my desktop. Reinstalled it and we were playing through it. And it was so much fucking fun. I, I completely forgot just how much I did on it. Like full on functional quests, dungeons. Oh, it was great fun. And, uh, checked a bunch of others because there was like, um, same mod had a Thad follower, which is uh, Phil's, uh, like, kind of OC. So, and the funny thing about Thad was when you recruit him, he's like, no, no, I'm not your companion. I'm Tycho's companion. It just so happens he's following you. So I'm following him. <laughs> Steven's almost finished mod graveyard, huh? Oh, almost finished mod graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally just a folder on my desktop. Yeah, so that was a dinosaur we just killed. Um, Kind of wasn't questioning it, was I? It's a Baryonyx. Hmm? Discord log off sound? What? Sorry, I don't know if that was actually something that just happened on my stream or... I didn't hear it. I don't know if you're making some kind of snarky comment that I don't understand. Gotta say, the bow seems to be doing a lot more damage. Just me saying no thanks to my little pony. That's fair. Oh, hello. One of the fucking scamps. Am 
I speak too soon? Bull's doing shit damage now. <laughs> get those uh, stealth criticals. Breaking news. Steven kills the last living dinosaur because it was between him and mediocre loot. Well, you know what? Skill issue. Why are there so many dinosaurs in Oblivion anyway? Like, like the realm of Oblivion and the game, I suppose. Daedroth's clan fear. What did George Lucas mean by this? You gonna, uh, you gonna stop quoting? Team Four Star anytime tonight, uh, Sancho. <laughs> you can't sneak that by me. No oh, fucking hell. Oh yeah, I did go. I found um, Shady Sam, like you mentioned, Ariana. I did buy a bunch of lockpicks from the fucker. I'll start my. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that I clocked it. Fuckers let. <laughs> Just let me pass. Hmm? The Daedric Princes were like, Well, I guess dinosaurs are cool. Big fans of Turok. Watch that retrospective on YouTube. That was a good video. Can't remember who made it. Hmm, did we just go the complete wrong way? I guess we did. Been here, killed the dinosaur. Uh, I guess we haven't been this way. That's right. I've arrived at the shrine of Shergorath. I should find the altar and place the staff near it. Is this the, the creature that you were saying looked like a xenomorph, by the way? Because that's just Leptoceratops. <laughs> I'm no longer feeling the urge to possess the staff of the Everscamp. Right. I never was, honestly. So, uh... Oh, hi. I don't care. You know what? You, you can stay alive. Oh, I see. So, up until this point, I have been unable to actually physically drop it, right? But now I can. Hmm. Do, do you leave me alone for a second? I want to I wanna just... <sighs> I'm actually going to put God Mode on for a second, because that's just annoying. Um... Because I just wanted to show Whoa. the actual staff itself. Ah. The little scamp oh. design. Oh. Alright, anyway, um, back to being mortal. Let's go. Whoop. Just so you know, I'm not cheating. <laughs> um, this way. Uh, wrong way. Ah. Fuck! Ah. Fucking 
God damn, they're annoying. I'm just, I was seeing the massive chunks of health he was taking out of me every time he did an attack. And I'm like, yep, I am going to die here. If I'm not very, very fucking careful. With no save. <sighs> right. On to... Objective B. To the Nocturnal Shrine. Or whatever. Eye of Nocturnal. I swear Todd was halfway to making a Turok game, but then he had to cobble together his own crappy narrative. <laughs> his own crap. Back in the wall, gonna put food in, sure. After this, uh, we're going to head back to Shadenhall, because uh, it's been two streams and I haven't checked in on the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> you know what? Don't feel like fighting. I'm just going to... Uh Wait for a second. No. What is it? Is it is there a crab nearby? Is that why I can't rest? Fuck you. What is it? I hate this Bethesda thing of you're just standing in the middle of nowhere and you start getting combat music and you're like <laughs> What is it? Oh yes, it's a crab. Wonderful. Can I sleep now? Oh, forget it. The Brotherhood. Yes. Where do you think we got the armor? Hmm. I think they probably hid it underwater based on what they were saying. What is this? What is that? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, okay, I see. There's a lion and a troll both in the water in a cave. Don't know why. Don't know how. Just a bunch of random fucking enemies. Oh, God damn it. And you're seeing how much damage I'm doing against it. Yep, yep, he's gonna run away. Never mind. D genuinely, there is no point me trying to fight it. I cannot do enough damage. It, it, these things heal. These, they heal at the same fucking rate that I deal damage. Fuck this. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just kill it with console commands. Genuinely. I don't I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Die. <laughs> this is because that's just that's dumb. That's really, really fucking dumb. I've got an ebony bow, I've got like 80 marksman skill or something, and I cannot kill a troll. Fair and fucking square. Yeah. Anyway, so much for trying to do it stealthily, because I couldn't be arsed with combat to begin with, but then you end up in a narrow, bloody waterway just full of enemies, so there's not even the option of sneaking past. Oh, 
Where was he? Yes, I just I just need to pull fire damage out of my ass, don't I, Dance? <laughs> well, if you can tell me which sigil stone or which merchant can sell me a fire damage enhancement on my bow, then sure, I might get it. But until then, we're fucked. And if they're going to just teleport behind the fucking door. Like this. Dumb. Why is there a lion in a swamp cave? <sighs> My friend and I just got back into Overwatch. I had a void... I was avoiding the switch to Overwatch 2 for two years, and now I feel bad for not playing it for so long. You feel bla bad for not playing it for so long? Are you enjoying it? We still play Overwatch. I mean, we I think we all kind of hate it. <laughs> and we all uh, make fun of it, but yeah, we, we play. Wait, you're saying that fire damage stops them healing? I thought fire da I thought they were just weak to fire damage. So that it was easier to out damage its healing factor with fire damage. Not that fire specifically cancels the healing. If that is the case in this, then that's news to me. I don't think that's what it's like in Skyrim. <laughs> it's Simba. Oh no no, the two um, the two trolls I killed were um Timon and Pumba. Should try it. I will try it. Don't worry, there will be uh there will be an opportunity to test it later tonight if all goes to plan. Maybe before then I should actually look for a look for a fire enchantment on my bow or something. Yeah, it's just a little fucking exhausting when every enemy in this game is such a damage sponge. Especially if you're going to give that enemy a fucking healing factor. It just becomes like, well, I'm not even going to engage with the combat because I, I get nothing out of it. I get nothing. I use every single, bo uh, uh, every single arrow in my inventory. I will literally destroy my bow, which means I now just have to go spend money to get it fixed, and all this for, for fucking what? Oh look, he dropped some troll fat. No point, I'll just use console commands. Um, sorry, lady's house. Hail! I do enjoy it. I thought it would play differently, but it's 99% the same. Funnily enough, that's because it is the same fucking game. Uh, Overwatch 2. It's, they shouldn't have called it Overwatch 2, let's be honest. It's, it is just Overwatch. Continued. More Overwatch. I don't see any scamps or the staff. Yep. As promised, here's the ring. I bought it from a shop in the Imperial City many years ago for an ex-lover of mine. He ran off with someone else, so now the ring belongs to you. Ask for your life story. The owner of the shop called it the Ring of Eidolon's Edge. I think you'll like it. Farewell. Who's Eidolon and why is he getting edged? Right. Wow, this is worthless. <laughs> Um, it, it, fortify block and fortify blade. Two skills I do not use. Marvelous. Each night to a walk. All right. As for good loot or good quest rewards.
Hey, nocturnal. My eye is returned. And I once again see into the darkness that is your world. Shut up back there. We mock the thieves who are bitter as their... Um, can, can, we, can we wrap this up? Can we wrap this up? No, please, no. Can we wrap this up, please? There's a di there's a dinosaur. There's a a baryonyx is attacking us. Sukumimus, maybe. Right, thank you, thank you. That's the, this is just the oblivion version of you know when you're speaking to the smithy in town in Skyrim and a dragon shows up. Christ. Well, she's dead. Won't be needing this. Blessed are you. How may I serve you? Yes. How may you serve me? Keep the key safe. Right, so now that we've done that, uh, we don't need to worry about lockpicking anymore because we've got the skeleton key. Which is going to be fantastic because we haven't even started the uh, the Thieves Guild quest yet, have we? We're already set for life. Uh, I was considering playing Overwatch 2, but hearing the reviews, I decided not to play it. I mean, the game itself, there's, there's ch slight changes, there's balancing changes between Overwatch 1 and 2, but I think for the most part, it's still the same old game. If you liked Overwatch 1, you'll like Overwatch 2. What the negative reviews about were more the battle pass system that they brought in play, which I'm not a fan of, to be honest. Like, you don't get loot boxes anymore. They replaced it with a battle pass, which means there, there are free rewards, but they're so few and, few and far between. And it's such a slow battle pass system as shit, it really is. It's such a slow grind of getting coins. I was playing it for, I think, was it over a year? I can't remember, but I bought my first skin with gold coins um, a few months ago. Just just two or three months ago. And it took me a, a, between the release of Overwatch 2 and then to actually save up enough evening HD uh, to buy this. Um... Yeah, so that's where most of the negative reviews were coming from. That and the fact that it was called Overwatch 2, even though it wasn't actually Overwatch 2. As for the game itself, taken in isolation, separate from all the other bullshit, it's it's still Overwatch, which it's fine. I like it. I have fun. Um, I just hate the surrounding practices around it, you know. Oh no, I don't I don't want to do that. Jesus Christ. Uh, I must accept a contract from Ochiva. What's up? Ah, assassin. I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter oh, just no. arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. Oh no. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you. From Lucien Lachance. It's happening. You must open it's happening. the sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. Hello, Uni. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you. Buying skin? Yeah, we're talking about buying skins on Overwatch, you know, my game. You don't like buying skins either. We've talked about this with your with your weird uh, Chinese MOBA that you play. <laughs> You never buy skins, do you? You don't usually. I don't know if you've ever like done it on one occasion or what, but... You shouldn't. You shouldn't encourage the companies like this. Right, let's have a look. What is this letter that we got? Orders from Lucien Lachance. Eliminator, you have served the Dark Brotherhood well in the short time you've been with us. Indeed, the rate of your advancement has been rather remarkable. Now the Black Hand itself is in need of your abilities. You must proceed with all haste to my private refuge in the ruins of Fort... I won't say that. Uh, <laughs> located in the forest northeast of Shadenhall Sanctuary. When you arrive, we will discuss the nature of your special assignment. 
Blah, blah, blah. It's important. Don't tell anybody else. Cool. Stop buying the skin, but buy me a dress. Okay. <laughs> sure. You know for a fact that you would never like any dress I buy you. You'd, you'd never be happy. You'd complain. Because my style is too good for you. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait till daytime. Just a few hours. I love that you can pick it up and put it down. I'm glad I got back into it. Yeah, yeah, I like I will I will go months without playing Overwatch. But then when I <laughs> when I get back in, um I'm still a top 1% Moira mains in in the known universe. You know, I'm still I'm still fantastic. Calling your wife a complainer live on air. I didn't say she was a complainer. I just said she would complain about any uh clothing that I would get. Just, I'm just u using excuses. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, why am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? Something I can help you with. What's going on in town? Dervera Romalin is sure proud of the Newlands Lodge. Fantastic. Derver Bye. Fantastic. Outstanding. I went to Amsterdam once. Someone tried to get me to buy skin, but I <laughs> stuck with the Twix I was getting from the corner shop. Even a small bit of good news is... Fair enough. I've heard that Naspia Cosma would rather be fighting in the arena than spending time at the castle. Fantastic. Have a good day now. Oh, um, I don't know if... It, well, I don't think everybody heard last night. But I'll just I'll say it again. Bit of good news. We've got a date now for uni getting back to the UK. Fourteenth uh, of May. I'm overjoyed to hear that Garrus has replaced <gasps> Ulrich. The fighters. I don't care. Though I'm happy that Ulrich has. When I was. Oh yeah, this was a, this was a quest we did ages ago. Farewell, Sergio. How goes it? Yeah, I'm Bazur Gro. Boss, ugly. I don't care. Would PC. somebody just initiate the quest that I want initiated, please? Anybody. Somebody. Chadenhall is in your debt, friend. I know. There are some quality books at Mach I don't care. What are you Good trying? You want to get better. Ugh, no. Goodbye. Lavina Nadarin. Who's that? I'm not breaking in, am I? Door was unlocked. Nope. <sighs> so, before stream, I did do a quick check on the wiki. I'm trying to do a specific quest. I'm following the instructions, which was to ask around Shadenhall. Ask about rumours. It's just taking a while. Blessings of the Nine. I'm happy to be of service in any way I can. I understand. It's just nobody's saying it. Only a month ago. Yep, a little less than a month now. House for sale now. We've already got a house. Me children will thank you for. You've not got children. Good news from Kavach for a change. <laughs> I love when the voices change. <sighs> Wraith with Thandians? Can you help me, please? Ah, okay. You know what? We'll just go straight to the source. This is the lady. I'm Tavella Lathandis. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Yes, my husband is the Wrythe Lithandus. Have you heard of him? He's a painter? 
Tell me about him. You haven't? That's strange. Wright is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. His specialty is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to show the attention to detail Wright uses when he paints. Husband is missing, lol. Okay, you are still here. <laughs> I thought I'd annoyed you and you'd left. Um, you guessed she was already here. No, I mean, I, I would have thought that if Uni was here already, you, you'd, you'd probably see her at some point. Um, but no, just a month to go. And then she can stream! We're going to get Uni streams! We're going to make her play Dark Souls! Okay. <laughs> They didn't even try with Oblivion voices. They sure didn't. Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. Or Bloodborne, whatever. But Same thing. didn't come out for a full day, I all unlocked of them. the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room, so I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly, and I'm so Jesus worried. Christ. You're gonna stream how to beat my husband. Jesus Christ, you can't just admit that live on stream. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up, and you're gonna like it. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find actually what is the name of the NPC who who does the uh, the screwed up voice line, because I want to try and find her. <laughs> Oblivion. Uh, she's a dark elf, isn't it? Dark elf. Uh, blooper line NPC. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Certainly somebody online. Or maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a generic rumour that every, any NPC can say. What NPC uh, says the blooper line? She's a, she's in the mage tower thing in the Imperial City. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Remind me to do this after this quest. I'll find your husband. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wright's studio. You may come and go as you please. Do hurry, I miss my love so much. Do hurry, I miss my love so much, said with the enthusiasm of uni. Um, <laughs> right, the studio, is that this room down here? Right, so her husband locks himself in this room to do his painting. And he's never come out. What could the mystery be? Hmm? Look at this. Look at this painting. I could do better than that. Please hurry. I fear Wright is in danger. Well, you could help me look for him then, couldn't you? Come in here. Unusual painting. To the painted world! <gasps> Dark Souls reference. Hello? <laughs> After touching the painting Wright had been working on, I suddenly found myself standing in a strange forest. It looks familiar, like the great forest in the Harp Cyrodiil, but something is different about it. Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. Came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Where is our adoring You're fan? stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that. Did he die? But if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Thief? I was in my studio when a Barsma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. 
The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. Um, I don't know if this is a remastered version of the game. It is not. There is not a remaster of this game. But it really does look like this came out in the early 2000s. The character models remind me of Halo 3. 2006, I think? I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush, if you like. Please, that... It's a magic brush that, that paints real reality. That's why his paintings look so good. Alright, how do we get out of here? Our only hope is to defeat the painted trolls. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed him. He didn't know the brush had its risks. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Oh. Do be careful. We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> erase the trolls. Um... I was wondering where my boomerang went. Then it hit me. <laughs> Good one. <coughs> so yeah, we were doing a missing painting quest last week, and I was reminded, hold on, there's another painting-related quest in this game. And it's one of the more memorable ones. Now, to be fair, this doesn't look so much like a painted world so much as just low resolution of normal, obl normal oblivion. But, uh, there we have it. Alright, so we put some turpentine on our bow. Like a poison. Now, do these trolls regain health? I don't know if they do. I, th I think I see a little bit of health regen on them. No, the, f the fire doesn't stop their health regen. The fire just must do extra damage against them. However, my destruction skill is so low that extra damage is not that helpful. Okay. Why is this troll making cheeseburger voices? Because he's, um... Um... <laughs> Sinclair, or whatever his fucking name was. Shut up back there. Um... Right. Right, 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 right. We'll be sneaky. And we'll try and actually get some critical hits on the next one. Because they're still too, uh... Too tanky. This quest could be very deadly for you. If you show up at this at, at, at the wrong level. Oh, no. Let's get the, uh, get the poison on. You show up at this quest at the wrong level with... Oh, that's annoying. With not enough gear. Uh, you will just be stuck here forever. Dying to trolls again and again and again because there's no way out but through. <sighs> Fucking porcupine. Right, let's try this again. Turpentine on first, so that we don't break our invisibility. Next time we see one. Painted world of Ariamis. Oh. What the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, um... Invisibility works up until the moment you load an arrow, and then it breaks. Right. Oh, 
Whoa. Just die. Just die. Just fucking die. Oh my god. Level 81 sneak, everybody. Things spotted me instantly. What's the fucking point? The game is rigged. It always is. The game was rigged from the start. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. There we go. That ought to do it. I love video games. I love Bethesda. So I was thinking this the other day, actually, kind of in relation to this quest, in a way. I kind of feel like, for all of its ugliness, something I quite like about Oblivion is that there is a weird kind of painted quality to the world itself. Like, the whole kind of Cyrodiil looks a bit like a painting, right? Like, I kind of jokingly said that this literal painted world just looks like normal Oblivion with shit texture quality. It's kind of true, though, right? Like, especially when you're going around some of the greener, more pastoral kind of environments. And uh, I think even Phil said last week something about the NPCs in Oblivion all look like um, those Renaissance, pe you know, people you would see in Renaissance paintings. And I kind of jokingly said that they, that's because they're all inbred. Um, <laughs> but it, it's true, right? As kind of horribly ugly as the game is, it kind of does have that vibe going on. Ah, here we go, and this is the edge of the painting, where everything becomes a uh, canvas. It's quite smart, actually. And is there anything beyond? No. <laughs> so this is the thief. The teeth. How the hell did he even break into his studio in the first place? That's what I'm wondering. Hmm. It's the vibrant colours. It's very fantasy. Yeah, very, very. Do we have to run all the way back? Where the guy is? Or can we just... Ah, okay, cool. We can just cut corner. That's nice. Wait a minute. Could we have just... Are you joking? We could have come this way from the very start. We could have just cut out the entire fucking dungeon. Because of our high acrobatics. We just jump up the cliff. Whatever. Good work. Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first. Or else you'd be stuck in here forever. 
I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. This piece. Follow me. Oh, he's painted his office. That's cool. To that horrible sound. Right. Oh my love, you're home safe. I was so afraid. Oh my love. If it wasn't you're for my friend safe. here, you'd be right. Come, you must need food and rest. I will rest, but I must take care of our guest first. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Here, please take this apron as a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. What are the odds that that paintbrush he uses is some Daedric artifact? Because <laughs> that's some high-level magic right there. Right. Um... Was there any other quests I specifically wanted to do tonight? I don't think there was. That one ended up being quite fast. We'll go see what uh, John Dark Brotherhood is wanting. Let's have a look at that apron. Oh, yeah, sure. Um... Apron of Adroitness. Agility 8, Intelligence 8. Uh, wait, ag ag oh, Agility, actually. Wait a minute, that's like, a, that's like a special stat. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like shit. <laughs> just, it just removes my pants. Thanks. Um... You know, while we're here, uh, let's sell some stuff. Is hiring new members. Let's put on our fancy dress. And uh, who, who, who has a lot of money? I hope I can help. You have giant eyes, woman. Let's do business. Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. Fuck, it's only selling. You drive off. Only hard has bargain. a thousand gold, so gotta be careful. A fine train. You're trying to drive me out of business. No. I right, food is done. Wow, I feel like it's been an hour since you started making your food. I can't afford. Unless I'm losing track of time and reality. An excellent bargain. Ooh, actually, we we can do a little bit of soul trapping these days, I think. So we'll keep some em empty soul gems. Then again, we don't even have an enchantment yet on our weapon. We, okay, 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 before we do anything else, we need weapon enchantment. Well, I'm not sure what the best way of doing this is. Is it better to go for a sigil stone? Probably not, because you never know what one you're going to get. If there's anything I did, you want something? You too. Good day. Major skilled. We got to go to the major skilled. Always keep your map. Can I will. Okay, somebody who maybe knows this game a little bit better. Um, getting a weapon enchantment. Is there any other way of doing it besides Sigil Stone or completing the Mage's Guild quest? Is there just a person I can go to? Give money? And let them do it? Yeah. <sighs> While I'm waiting for an answer, we're going to cop over to the Arcane University. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can find this NPC. Well, shit. Um, hmm. Not canon. Excuse me? Um... Let's try, uh, this one? I guess? That was... <laughs> that was strange. Go ahead. Um... Let's not worry about that. <laughs> We're going into the Lustatorium with all the lusty Argonian maids. Damn it. You went to the wrong dimension, Gromit! Uh. What the fuck is going- why can't I get in any of these doors? Greetings. What exactly do you require? Tall lady. I'm Karanya, Master Wizard, and far too important to be talking to you. I'm a Cat. Meow. Take care. <laughs> Rude. I'm sorry, fellow. How goes it? Fuck it. Let me in. Let me in, 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 let me in. Where is everybody? I think you should leave. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Half of the Council of Mages resigned when Traven took over the position of Archmage. If you say so. The Orrery here is the only one in Cyrodiil. That would be a no for getting enchantments easy in Oblivion. All right. Uh, I look, looks like we're going to have to do more Oblivion gates then. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Is it one of these people? I mean, it's got to—it's got to be an elf lady, right? There's no, there's no elf ladies By here. The nine divines, can't a woman get a moment to herself? I think you should leave. Uh oh, I, I want to leave. Trust me. Greetings to you. Why is every door got to be locked? This is this is becoming more tedious than it's worth. Yeah, okay, we're done. Every, every one of these doors, for some reason, I can't even click on them to unlock them with console command. All right. Um, in that case, give me, like, two minutes tops. I'm going to just do a little bit of research online, so... Oblivion, Sigil Stones. I'm going to see what the options are. And then decide which one we want to go after. So, oh, at level 17 plus, we should be getting the best versions. Transcendent Sigil Stones. Um, or are they random? Oh, there's, yeah, they, there's a lot of abilities they could have. Maybe they are completely random. Yeah, it doesn't seem to list them. It doesn't seem to list them as, like, specific ones or anything. The embassy I'm looking for is called Tan Dilwi. Alright, thank you. I think she's usually in the main entrance room during the day. I'll check. All oh, right, right, right. Fine, fine, fine. It's random. Um, everything seems to be random. Okay, one last check. Oblivion, R, Sigil, Stones, random. The two effects are randomly determined the moment you see the message Sigil Stone has been added to your inventory. Okay, 
So we just have to go into any Oblivion Gate, which we have found plenty, um, and just hope for the best. Although we could save Scum. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Whew. I didn't want to do an Oblivion Gate, to be honest, but we are going to... Uh... Wait, this one's probably destroyed. Ah, okay. Bad, bad one, bad one, bad one, bad one. Uh, this one. Road trip. Yep. We're going to make a speed run to the end of this. Is there a dude here? Oh no, it's a guy. Okay, I thought it, I thought he was a, a a Bosmer. Can I load? No. Okay. Ugh. You know what? Fuck yourself. Um, get out of here. Just gotta kind of uh, guess the way to go and hope we don't hit a dead end. Looking good so far. Oh shit. Oh! Ow. Ooh, nice. Where's the fucking end? The fume vaults? Uh, I don't know. I think that's where we came from. Ooh! A glass warhammer. Nice. Speaking of warhammer, uh, <laughs> did you guys see Twitter today? So apparently they've canonized, like, female, uh, not space marines per se, but uh, I think it's what they, they, uh, custodies. They're just gold space marines, fuck it, I don't care. Uh, and, and people, people are pissing and shaking themselves. I just think it's funny. Because I'm not really that invested, otherwise. <laughs> I love the demonic oblivion pain sound. You know the one. Blah! Um, do I have this on my soundboard? I don't think I do. It just works. Nope. <laughs> it's like that, but with a re uh, a reverb filter on it. <laughs> Let me through. <laughs> Fuck your security systems. <laughs> I'm the greatest thief that ever lived! What's the name of this tower? The Gore Steeple, that's fine. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck you. Fuck. Keep forgetting that if you do anything while invisible, the spell breaks. It's fine. I got a free heal up. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's keep going. You can't stop me. Uh-oh. We can't have women in our game. Disgusting things. It's 
sneaky, 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 sneaky. They'll never find me. Oh shit, they find me. <gasps> ah shit, it's the cops. Right, now what we do is we save and we roll the dice. Right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Transcendent Sigil Stone. Absorb and Fucking useless. Right. <laughs> Roll the dice again. Absorb intelligence on hit. Who do you think I am? What? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? It's the same one. Oh, no. They said it would randomize when you picked it up. Unless that's been patched. Which would suck. Fire damage. Alright, that's the one we want. We're going for fire damage. Well, that was easier than, it, <laughs> than I was expecting. I thought we might be here a while. Trying to get fire specifically. That's exactly the one I wanted. Now, seeing that, there's going to be a lot of, like, Daedra who are resistant to fire. But at least... At least we could deal with trolls? I'm going to save quickly. I said I'm going to save quickly, just in case I die. Right, fuck this downhill fighting. Um, absorbent our soul stone. <laughs> yes. Gonna run backwards right into like a den of lions or something. <sighs> Gotta love them, them fucking damage sponges. Right. Add item or ebony bow. I think we're happy with that. Ebony bow is pretty much near the top of weapons you can get. Uh, we're going to call this the um, Spicy Bow. <laughs> um, 25 points on strike. That is that is pretty fantastic. So our last weapon did 9 physical damage and 19 shock damage for a total of 19 damage. Our new weapon does 16 physical and 25 fire. <laughs> for a total of 41 damage. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a significant improvement. And it's and it's gonna look no different in combat because all the enemies are gonna level up with us. Okay. Now, those things should be extra weak to fire, because that was a Spriggan, right? So probably not the best example. That seemed easy enough. Right. Um, let's go home. We've not been home all day. Let's go home. Stephen found some fire. I did. Is there no one who would stand for the Nine? Oh, unhappy Tamriel! 
Where is your divine crusader? In these latter Who days of the Anyway. Um, <laughs> how long have we been going for? One of these days we're going to have to do the DLC, right? 140. 140, 140, 140. Um, yeah, it's getting on in the day. Let's just... Let's just do like a full... A good 14 hour nap. How about that? <laughs> love that even the loading screen is giving you the NPC stare. Yeah, I love that loading screen. Love it. Excuse me, Lily? Look at the faces of the dead! This is your future! Evil has returned! And the Nine need a champion! There are law masters among you. Heads so heavy with learning. Oh my! To what do I owe this honor? I am but a humble prophet. What business do you have with me? I'm just wondering what you're yelling about. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal White. Who? In his dying breath. Once again, who? Who's that? Umaru the Unfathered, the Sorcerer King of the Aliens, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of I Net. think we'll do Shivering Isles last. He was cast Oda, would that be best? White Strike, but Not actually played it, so I don't know. Survived! And now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods! Um, Pel Pelinal White Strike? Oh. Does no one remember the old tales? Saint Pelinal, the divine crusader of legend, Alicia's companion when she overthrew the rule of the Aliens 3,000 years ago. Pelinal, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him! But somehow Umaril has returned. Right. Uh, isn't Pelinal White Strike the uh, the Terminator cyborg in canon? Yeah, the time traveling cyborg. Is that right? <laughs> I'm not joking. Look it up. Um, just tell me who attacked the chapel. No more of this nonsense. Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. Ash Uibala. Umarale, All right, you speak it in tongues. A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. Uh, uh, Pelinal White Strike was the um, the human who was too angry to die, and he just he just he just loved killing elves. He just fucking loved killing elves. He's just like, oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> and he may have been a robot sent from the future. Alas. Umaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusader's relics. Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. Yeah, th this is like a very typical fantasy thing you're talking about to Hans. Like, 3,000 years ago, Perinal White Strick, and it's like, yeah, we, we barely know what the fuck happened 3,000 years ago, or, or it's relegated to like myth. And pseudo history, like we don't even know where the fuck Troy as a city was, if it existed at all, as far as I'm aware. I mean, obviously there's like, it's a, it's in contention, but um, yeah, here it's just like, oh yes, we know exactly. There was a time traveling cyborg. Um, that's who White Strake is. It was him, the absolute mad lad, genus genocidal cunt. Yeah, that's him, the absolute mad lad. No, no. Fic no character in all of fiction has hated elves as much <laughs> as a uh, Pelinal White Strike. He he was Doom Guy of the Elder Scrolls uh, universe. Uh, I guess I'll quest for the relics. You 
would quest for the holy panoply of... Sure, 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 sure. Are you a worthy knight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Let the gods be the judge of that. The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. What I can tell you is that, <clears throat> traditionally, knights who wish to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way. Travel to the way shrines. Okie dokie. If the gods deem you worthy. Okie dokie. May the eight and one guide. I wouldn't go in there unless you have a strong stomach. I'm we have fine. orders to leave everything just the way it was. Fine. So this is the uh, the chapel attack. To think I have never seen this chapel not destroyed. Because this is DLC, right? And so that means there was a version of Vanilla Oblivion in which Laralther, Dumania Jurich, and the other other bitch, uh, were alive and presumably had like unique lines of dialogue, which I have just never heard. Because they've always been dead for as long as I've played this game. Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Also, somebody's um, gone mad with the uh, the ketchup. Anyway. Fascinating story, but we got other stuff to do, so. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Did Order 66 happen in this church? Something like that. I mean, I don't mind fancy settings having myths set 3,000 years ago, but they should be far more... Uh, they should be far from accurate or even reasonable. Meanwhile, more often than not, they're just true. Unless you take Dark Souls, where time doesn't matter and everything is secretly wrong, but also not. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. I'm sure we were talking about this um, with HD. Uh, I think it was on the Near stream last week. He was talking about how his own writing, he he's like deliberately writing in contradictions and... Uh, misinformation in like the the backstory and I thought that was kind of an interesting way of, of going about sort of writing a fantasy setting like you can have whole ass like earth shattering like world changing battles, but it's also entirely possible that those battles never even happened at all, and they're just mythologized like other I don't know some <laughs> various like wars and instabilities over like a, a twenty five year period, but the history just remembers it all as one big climactic battle which happened under an eclipse or something, you know. Fort F Slar, let's go. One of the few settings where accurate historic, uh, ancient history makes a lick of sense is Lord of the Rings because you got motherfuckers who I was there, Gandalf, 3,000 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you guys, you guys friendly or not? I don't... I don't remember. Friendly? No, not... Why would you not be friendly? I was invited here. And to think, this is with our massively damage boosted weapon. Hate it. Ebony. Weapons. Nice. Uh, we don't have the carry capacity. Fuck it. We'll come back. Yeah, it's a very neat way of not having to worry about being tied to continuity. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. It's 
Sorry, I just want to sell some stuff before we continue because. Well met. Those weapons are very valuable. So what can we sell? Oh, there we go. That's just not reasonable. Fuck you. I'll fucking show you reasonable in a second. Oh, we'll sell our old bow. We're not using that anymore. Is that, is that all we have? Farewell. Um, I don't know if the Super Saiyan myth is 100% accurate or not. We have different versions in the series. Broly, Super Saiyan God. Yeah, like even that actually, that is kind of an example of like the the legend is being a bit warped and distorted over time. Orba Grauzgaj. Have a look at my wear. But that's also anime, which makes it gay and cringe. All right. That's more. Apologies if you do join these streams hoping I'll That's talk more about Dragon Ball. I'm just, I'm just not that into Dragon Ball at, at this current time in my life. Needs to be another movie to come out for me to get excited again. Thank you. You too. Or another series. Holy fuck, there is another series, isn't there? There's um, that fucking one where they're all going to become toddlers again or something. It's going to be Dragon Ball Rugrats. That's coming out next, right? It's a thing. One of my favourite tropes is actually from Dune, where the prophecy is fabricated by a secret cult and kind of becomes self-fulfilling. Absolutely. It's also very much why I like the Morrowind main campaign, uh, main questline so much, because it's basically just ripping straight from Dune by the writer's own admission. <laughs> This entirely fabricated uh, prophecy. Self-rationalizing as well. It's like, ah, you are the chosen one. But what if I fail? Well, then if you fail, you weren't the chosen one. Doesn't disprove the prophecy. It just means that you weren't the one. We just got to keep going through ones until one of them happens to <laughs> luck their way through all the obstacles. Lisa Al Gaib, I am not the, <laughs> I'm not the Messiah. Ah, the real Messiah would be so humble. That just proves you are. Shut up, shut up back there. Modib. Speaking of Lisa Al Gaib, where's the cat? <gasps> Loafing. Sorry. I startled her with the creaking of my desk. Hmm. I could, I could probably just sneak through this dungeon. You know what? Fuck it. Let's not waste the, uh... Holy shit! This person has a lot of stuff. Person. Uh... <laughs> the Lisa Al Gaib is too humble to accept that he is Lisa Al Gaib, as it is written. <laughs> I fucking loved him. Fucking uh, Skilgar. Fucking. Possibly my favorite character in part two. Didn't help that Anton uh, Chigur is one of my favorite actors of all time. Yeah, he was. He was fantastic. Why has everything got to be so heavy? Um, fuck. What's worth more? We can't even find somebody with this much gold, so... Maybe we'll leave that one. Hmm?
I wonder if the the real messiah would deny divinity was set up in real religions uh, to stop followers being duped by con men. Um, you want to stop? Never mind. Oh, here we go. Love to see it. <laughs> you love to just not not have to worry about it anymore. Genuinely one of the best items in the game. It's got to be. <sighs> and it's so annoying that in Skyrim, the, um, the skeleton key, you get it. And then as soon as you get it, you're like, yes, we got the skeleton key. Now we must return it to Nocturnal. It's like, uh, I don't want to though. Do I want to complete the quest? Or do I want to keep this really goddamn good item? You know, what? what's more important to me? But the armor! You, is, don't you get the, um... Fuck. Fuck you. Isn't the, um, the Nightingale armor only available after you complete that quest? Yeah. That's a tough one. You know what, actually, I am going to kill this guy, because he's an archer, and the last archer we killed was absolutely loaded with ammo. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. I wonder if these guys respawn, because I will come back here and just grind whenever I need a restock. That's not his name, but his character in... Uh, and then I get an Avast antivirus pop-up in NC form. But that is how I always remember him. Okay. I don't I don't know what you have. That's not the actor's name, is that what you're saying? Quick save. Hello, Quick Sticks. Once you surpass one hundred lockpicks and get a decent lockpick level up, you you're good more or less. True. Actually that is a point. To be fair, in Skyrim's case, the lockpicking minigame doesn't even bother me. Like, I could do, I have never once in my life put a skill point into uh, lockpicking in Skyrim because the minigame is easy enough. There are plenty of times I can pick, uh, like, master level pot, uh, master level locks with, like, level one characters. <laughs> Just takes a bit of patience. But it's perfectly doable. Shit. Right. Hold on, hold on. What's the most valuable stuff we have? Weight to... Holy, that's actually very heavy. For a glass weapon, that is very heavy. We'll leave it. Javier Bardem. Yeah, there we go. That rings a bell. Or heavy. Javier. 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 Words. So, um, Lucien, did, did you have to make I, me fight all your skeletons on the way? Assassin. Cunt. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation. The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. Marty. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom, and for what purpose, we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the traitor and the Chaden Hall. Here is the traitor, your majesty. The traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. It was learned that the traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. 
You can't possibly mean I gotta kill them all. Oh, but I do. You have been selected by the Black Hand to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. You must break one of the tenets you have sworn to uphold. I know. This is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Go Grand. So on and so forth. Point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sithis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. When the rite oh. of purification has been completed, return to me here. Now, take these special gifts. They will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple. The other, a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck, Silencer. Why, why, why you want me to... First of all, why the poisoned apple? Who are you? Are you, you the fucking stupid Snow White? Sleeping Beauty? One, one of the Disney witch people? I don't know, words. The apple has been treated with a most deadly poison. It will likely kill Can I get more of them? Eats it, probably instantly. I want to feed this like a random NPC. Simply dispose of any other food and put the apple in its place. If someone is inclined to eat. Okay. Because I've seen videos of people like reverse pickpocketing the poisoned apple onto random NPCs and it just goes like... Ugh! Uh, so yeah, why do why 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 am I killing everybody? The Dark Brotherhood is an ancient organization. We have survived for millennia. Sometimes, to ensure that survival, drastic measures are required. The purification, okay. the fire, okay. with a pu okay, and okay, I don't care anymore. Uh, goodbye. Make haste. The sanctuary must be purified if this treachery is to be undone. Okie dokie. Do we really want to kill everybody? Uh! Ow. Mass murder. A little bit. <sighs> I mean, I wasn't particularly attached to this group of weirdos or anything, but... You know, they, they gave me stuff. I like stuff. Right, I need a sleep for a start. Give me a sleep. A crumb of sleep. Training room. You are like a dark gift from the night Shut up, Joffrey. It's been a Joffrey. How many weeks has it been since we did any main quest? We've just completely forgotten about it. Alrighty, what's going on? <laughs> ready, 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 ready. Hmm. <laughs> I was trying to drop it. I was trying to drop it. I was trying to drop it. <laughs> That's like some... Accidentally drinking toilet water and fallout type shit. <laughs> right. Drop. There we go. Hail, my sister. Hey, want an apple? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Clearly not. I'm sorry. I don't know how this works. Is this, is this what you do? This feels wrong. I can't see them, like, just... grabbing it like this. Right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Let me take the poison out. Okay. What if... <laughs> take it. 
It's worthless to me anyway. Right, I'm going to take your meat and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it with a poisoned apple. Um. Well, it's a little anticlimactic, but... <laughs> right, is it still on him? It's still on him. <laughs> Take it. It's worthless to me anyway. Hmm. Ah, the vicious murder the vicious murderers want you to kill other vicious murderers. No biggie. I will say, like, the Dark Brotherhood quest line is the one that I did way more than any other back in day. Excuse me, brother. Can you spare a moment? Yeah, you did. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. Good day. Is it true what I've heard about your most recent contract? You've seen Lucien Lachance then. Good, good. I know whatever task he has for you will be carried out with skill and discretion. Yeah, yeah. Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother wrap you in her cold loving. Where's Moody Guy? This one. Ah, there you are. Uh, look, I've been thinking, and, well, I guess I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past. I mean, look at you, the things you've accomplished. So let's start over, shall we? I know from now on, you and I are going to be great friends. Now, is there something you'd like to buy or sell? Oh, a secret assignment, you say? Come on, can't you give your old pal Mirajdar a hint? Until we meet again, my dear friend. Yeah, they just had to do that to rub it in, didn't they? Night mother, I beg your mercy. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, did something happen? Did I get a, a message at the top right? No, I think it was just, uh... You landed a critical hit. That's fine. I've been meaning to speak with you. But of course, what troubles you? I want this guy to eat. I heard about your most eat something. Contract. Are I you hungry? To congratulate Do you not like fruit? Well done. You had quite the time of it, or so I hear. Hail! Go through the fucking door! I know what you're thinking. Um, shut up. Happy hunting, my sister. I wonder how you survive at all without me being <sighs> These Dark Brotherhood members are way more polite than the Skyrim ones. Um, they weren't to start with. That guy we just killed, he was an arsehole. Very rude and not very friendly. This child of the Night Mother. Can I get my apple back? <laughs> congratulate you on a job well done. You had quite the time of it, or so I hear. All right. So I may have gotten a bit careless. Oh, fuck this. Do something! Yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't think I can kill all these people in one hit. That's the problem for uh, trying to assassinate them quietly. I mean, I could just, like, bum rush them, take them all on at once. But where's the fun in that?
I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? Hail, my sister! Oakley Doakley. You see, sneak attack, just not gonna work. Oh my god! Somebody killed an uh, orc guy! I am honored <laughs> by your presence. How can Ochi Uh anyway. He's uh, he's having a sleep. Uh, a sleep. I'll take my apple back, thank you very much. Save scumming. Do do you know what game we're playing? The game's crashed once already tonight. I'll, I'll save every fucking chance I get. Save me. Oh no, somebody okay, I'm not gonna keep this up every time. Um Really? Really? Steve scumming, I see. This is incredibly troubling. <laughs> I'm just gonna start running around this place yelling, Is anybody hungry? Anybody want an apple? Please! I don't need a portion of human chameleon. I am a human chameleon. Cat. Cat human. Hey, uh... Do you... Do you want an apple? Dear friend, may I steal a moment of your time? I have a rather delicate situation I was hoping you could help me with. This is a personal matter and will have no bearing on your standing within the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, sure. I mean... Would you like... Um, I'm here to kill you, but I can do a side quest in the meantime. <laughs> I find your decision most agreeable. Now the details. Far south of here, on the southern end of Cyrodiil, lies a swamp called Bogwater. Hiding in that swamp, you will find an Argonian shadow scale named Scartail. Kill this renegade, and bring me his heart as proof of the deed. Um, okay, why? When Ochiva and I trained with the Dark Brotherhood as children, we befriended another initiate, a shadow scale by the name of Scartail. The three of us were inseparable. When our training was completed, we reluctantly parted ways. Scartail has fled Black Marsh and refuses to fulfill his duties as a royal assassin. This is an act of treason. Just as a member of the Dark Brotherhood cannot kill a fellow family member, a Shadow Scale is forbidden from slaying another Shadow Scale. That is why you must go to. Okay. Um. Sure. Um. May let me just. Always in the shadow let me just quickly cities. take this poisoned apple off you, then. Take it. It's worthless to me anyway. Here we go. Ah, uh, dear. I'll be back. Well met. Well met.
We got okay. I gotta find somebody who actually has some money that I can sell some stuff to uh, before we do anything else. Good God! Nothing to see, lizard man. Yep. Can somebody do me a favor and have a quick check? Oh, good God! Have a quick check. Which merchants have the most money? Especially like armor or weapons merchants. Actually, wait, wait, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think one of them is... Is it the best defense? Best defense? Maybe. I'm Vernardo. Yes, you are. I'm willing to teach if you will. May I interest you in some of my fine... A thousand gold? That's not that good. That's shite. You're shite. I hate you. Farewell. Um, at the Mystic Emporium, maybe. The best defense. I'll have a look. What does this guy sell, actually? What can I interest you Light in? armor? Light armor? Mithril. Meh. I want some glass. Glass armor looks good. Uh, okay. 800 gold. Shite. You're shite, you mate. Too. You're shite. Hack and slash. Herbal Grow Oracle knows you need axes. Slash and smash. <laughs> Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Nah, no good. I need somebody with, like, well more than a thousand gold, because there's I'm finding items like ebony armor, which are worth three thousand, four thousand. Good morning. And if you want to get the full value of that stuff, you need somebody of a checkered past. Apparent actually has it. Where is the Mystic Emporium? Is it here? Hello, what's wrong? So, have you bet on any arena matches? The Blacksmith in Anvil. Okie dokie. I'll go have a look. After this one. I think the problem with the Mystic Emporium is they won't buy my weapons and stuff. Welcome to the... Probably not, anyway. I offer the finest goods and lowest... Oh, a thousand. Yeah. What can I sell? Not much of it. Oh, wait, no, hold on. He will buy uh, some armor. That's good. You've got a off, then. Right, we'll try Anvil. Anvil. Mr. Magorium's Mystic Emporium. <laughs> um, oh. Hello, Shishani. Okay. Peace. Good day. Can I interest you in... 1,200. It's slightly more Don't than the others all. do. Let's do bit. Okay. Can you buy a war axe? A good price for a good customer. Oh, there we go. Finally, somebody with over a thousand. I can actually sell this to. A good price. You drive a hard bargain. Okay. That's the gist of everything. Um, I will probably sell my iron arrows, actually. I am not using them, and the take up a good price a bit of space a good customer a pleasure oblivion has trash merchants literal trash Farewell. merchants merchants of trash 
Calling it for today. Later, everyone. See you later. How long have we been going, actually? That's been... 2 hours 20. Okay, we should wrap this up soon. Let's go to bog water. Bog. You're a bog. Don't you be pulling out all my game cases again, okay? Yesterday she was behind my TV there. And I just hear a clatter. And she just individually be tearing out all the game cases that are on the shelf. You be pest. longer I'm going to be streaming Oblivion because like I'm, I'm not I'm not quite being a completionist run like I was trying to do with uh, Fallout there's way too many quests I have no intention in doing them all let's talk to this guy first actually I don't know what his deal is maybe he's friendly hello I guess I've been expecting you assassin don't try to deny it I can see it in your eyes your dark brotherhood through and through. Let me guess, it was Ochiva, right? No, wait, uh, Tainava, yes. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian royal court already sent an agent to do the job. He failed, of course. His body's around here somewhere. But he got him a pretty good hit. So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> you let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Um, okie dokie. You show unexpected mercy. For that, I am thankful. Oh, yes. I suppose Tainava wants proof that I'm dead, eh? <laughs> let me guess. His body is around here somewhere. Don't care. Killed him anyway. Uh. Yes? You want me to stop streaming? Is that the problem? You want attention? Five minutes, okay? Four? Three and a half. Just give me a second. Right, uh, we are done here. We'll head back, we'll hand in this quest, then we'll immediately kill the quest giver. Uh, my roommate's cat went to the vet. When she came back, my cat decided he hated her for two days. Wait, so your, your cat decided that he hated your roommate's cat? All right. Why? Because they they stink, stunk of vet. Talking to your cat as if it's a person. I mean, aren't they? There are people. <gasps> Noises. Ha! Yes, that is an Argonian heart. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding, and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. What are you doing? <laughs> She's going after her little uh, mouse toy. Well, that was fun. May you walk always in the shadow of cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear sister. Best. Okay, come on. Cool. 
Uh, who's left? This guy? Um, ignore that. Why, sister? Why? 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 Oh my god, you're so bullet spongy. I'm just going to avoid this, uh, this skeleton. And I'm over encumbered again. There's just one more person I need to kill. Right? Two? Have to call it a night, guys. Uh, have a good week later. Alright, see you later. the other member but where, where are you sending me but, okay was one of them just out for an evening stroll that's, that's not even near- I have no- I don't even have a single fast travel point anywhere near there. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Right, I'm gonna kill this one person. And then I'm quitting. <laughs> it's just gonna take a while to get to them, I guess. Can you please let me fast travel, game? Holy fucking shit. There's a skeleton three buildings away, underground, that is angry with me. And it's denying me fast travel. You're making me a liar to my cat. It's taking far longer than it should. Can we fast travel now? Oh. <laughs> so you know the whole quest with the, um... Oh, it worked, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we can't do this quest because we're a murderer. But, uh... Apparently we can. I'm still... You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're quitting. Goodbye. Good morning. <laughs> this is just annoying. No, Fucking basically. can't fast travel. There are enemies nearby. Bullshit. <sighs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll see you... Uh, whenever I next see you. Alright. Night-night. <laughs>